In this video, we're going to be adding information to geometry so that we can view names and information cards on our 3D map. This map has already been upgraded, which is why we're able to add descriptions, links, and images. So this is a plus map already. But if it was a free map, all we're able to do is add names. Um, I've got our computer lab selected here, so I'm just going to start filling in some details. I'm going to name it computer lab, enter in a description. I'm also going to add a link. You can add multiple links if you want to. Um, here's me adding three different ones. Um, you can delete them by clicking delete on the right. You can also rearrange them using this drag handle here. Right now we only need the one link. So I'm just going to write, can't write in visit us and the URL I'll just enter mappedin.com. We're also going to add an image. So I'm going to add this image of a computer. We can add several images if we want to. In this example, I'm adding one. And then once our, all of our information is in, we can preview the location card. So you can see everything we've added is here. We have a nice image, title, description, and link. In the 3D viewer, you'll also be able to get directions um, to this location. And we can exit out of it by clicking this X here. OK, so let's try adding information to something that isn't a room. We've got a point here that I added in a previous video for an outdoor seating area just outside the library. So I'm going to name it outdoor seating area. I'm going to apply the same description I did for the computer lab in interest of time. Um, I'm not going to add a link to this one, but I will add an image. And I'm going to use this image of a patio. Again, we can preview the, the card to see what it's going to look like. And it looks very nice. We have our nice image, title, description. So then let's try adding um, several links and several images. We'll click on this music room. I'm going to name it music room. For description, again, I'm just going to use the one I copy and pasted. And we'll add in two links in this example. So the first link will be visit us, and the second one will be book time. And I'm just going to use mapped in for both of these. Next, I'll add in several images. So, so far, we've only added one, in, one image. I'm going to start with this image of a music room. Once that's done op uploading, I'll add another. So I'll add this one of a stage. And now we can preview our card again. And you'll see here that we can actually navigate between a couple different images. We've got both of our links here and our title and our description. We can also add information to other component types. For example, if we want to uh, name or add a description to the entrance to the reception. So we'll just do that. Reception doors. And we'll say enter the doors here. So this card's going to look a little bit different because we have no image or links. And if, for example, we wanted to name a classroom, but we don't want to give it any extra information, we can just enter classroom 114. So I'll see you in the 3D viewer where we will see all of this information live. So here we are in our 3D viewer, and you can see all of the different locations that we've added. We can start with the computer lab. So if we click on this, we can, again, the location card looks exactly like it did in the editor. Um, we can get directions here if we want to. So here's an example of directions from the front door. We can see our outdoor seating area. We can see our music room, again, with the several links and different images. And then we can see here that the reception door that we named, if we click on it, it doesn't have um, images or links. And then something like this classroom 114, when we click on it, it has no information card because we didn't add any extra information. And that's how you add information to geometry in our editor.